Philippe Perez from Jiu-Jitsu Kingdom. This is Alex Perez Lung from Rancho Jiu-Jitsu de la Patagonia in Chile. I'm going to follow up with the seatbelt position I did in the previous video, no gi, just showing the same position but just a slight variation on applications for using the gi. So, again, coming back to the back position, if I had to choose between the seatbelt or the hooks, personally I would always choose the seatbelt, I feel it to be a far more dominant position. So we're just going to focus on that and not worry about the legs, just like the previous video. Again, with the seatbelt, top arm goes over the shoulder, bottom arm goes under the shoulder. Now with this, my thumb side is always straight down here and underneath his chin as best I can. My bottom hand grabs a hand. I never want to grab my wrist because you can manipulate my wrists and start to use that to defend to break my grips. I don't want this to be low where it can defend these, uh, the choking arm here. What I want it to be is one hand comes over, other hand comes under and on top, and I pull back with my elbows just like before. Now in the previous video, what we focused on was working on Monte Leon with the one arm rear naked choke as well, Marcelo Garcia style. Either one, Monte Leon, the classic rear naked choke. If this position is equally applicable in the gi, the difference is when I go here, when he goes to strip my grip, he goes to defend here, he can only get this hand. So if Alex goes to grab my hand, my hand feeds and grabs the gi. You'll notice here, it's the same thing before we just dive under. So again, I'm here, when he goes to defend, I'm literally just switching to this. Notice the gi collar is folded. It's, this grip is okay to choke, but folding the collar like that is a much better grip. It's harder for him to blow your grip and for you to break out of. From here, when I get this, I can do all sorts of variations to finish. The simplest one being your basic choke, where I just grab the other lapel, pull straight down, pull the other one back, and finish. If he brings his hands up to try and defend, I come up here and go for my classic single wing choke. So again, off this seat belt, really simple one here, everything nice and tight. When he goes to defend, my hand feeds and bends that collar. See, I get that bend in the collar. It makes it a much deeper choke, because it bends and cuts into his neck. Again, he's pulling down to defend, I go with it. My hand goes straight down, takes the slack out of the gear. I draw this elbow back over the gi. If he brings his arm upwards to defend, I come straight up here and same thing, the finish. Thanks guys, hope you enjoyed the video.